the Zamboni, shoes, icing the stones, pebble, Crushing, sweeping, freezing the hacks, pins, gloves, stretching. I got a curler. Or I got a hips. Well, I'll take the curler. Okay. Oh, come on. All right. Point flip. Handshake. <laughs> are all pre-game components to curling. Uh, there was a need for a curling club in the Orange County area. A lot of members, a lot of curlers from this area were driving either to San Diego or to uh, Hollywood. Well, the OCC, the Orange County Curling Club, offers its members a local place to curl here in Orange County. I just thought, I'll check to see what the status of curling in Orange County is. And so that's when I did my Google search. And, uh, and so I called up Cindy, and she was already involved. And uh, her and I joined as a team. I found the club through a group that we belong to called the Canadians in Orange County. And they picked up a learned curl. Not many people know about curling. The goal of curling is to score more points than the other team. You do this by sliding a 42 pound stone down a sheet of ice so it lands closer to the center of the rings called the button. Many have seen curling on TV during the Olympics and think it's a funny sport because of the people sweeping the ice. It's ridiculous to think about sweeping the ice. It's even funnier to think that you could go curling in Southern California. Yet every Saturday night, the Orange County Curling Club curls at the Westminster Ice. There are four members on each team. They are called the first, the second, the vice skip, and the skip. The first and second are the main sweepers. Vice skips are used to help the skip. The skip is the team leader and in control of the strategy for the team. In each match, you play eight rounds called ends. In each end, two stones are thrown by each player. The last stone in the end is thrown by the skip and is called the hammer. The curling lane is called a sheet. The curling sheet is about five feet wide and 140 feet long. At each end of the sheet, there are rings in the ice called the house. The line in front of the house is called the hog line. In the center of the house is a small ring called the button. The T line intersects the center line right in the middle of the button. The end of the sheet is marked by the back line. Curling stones are made in Scotland on one single island. Each stone weighs 42 pounds. The hack is like the starting block in track running. It's used to push off in the delivery. Pebble is small drops of water frozen to the ice so the rocks can curl. In curling, weight is a term used to describe the speed of the stone traveling down the ice. Being shot rock is when your stone is closest to the button. Points are scored by whose stone is closer to the center than the opponent's stone. Each stone is worth one point. The vice skips are the only players allowed in the house at the finish of an end. They decide who is closest to the button and gets the points. <laughs> the hardest part is trying to get the rock where the skip tells you the rock is supposed to go. I think the hardest part of the game is overcoming your own um, expectations in managing your um, skill level. I think that in the beginning when you're learning, um, you learn a whole lot of things at once and so then you can make great strides and then sometimes afterwards you plateau. The biggest thing for me was always just trying not to fall uh, and walking on the ice. So initially, really just being comfortable being on the ice. The hardest part of curling is the delivery. Easy to learn, but difficult to master. The delivery takes a mixture of balance, timing, and weight. The four main components of the delivery are the forward press, the drawback, the slide, 
and finally the release. Once you are in the hack, you have a couple of steps to take before you can deliver. First, clean the underside of your stone to eliminate debris. Check to make sure your body is in line with your target. Make sure the handle of your stone matches up with your skip's handle. Your handle should be at 10 o'clock or 2 o'clock. The forward press is when you move both the stone and your broom foot forward to start your momentum. The drawback is when you pull back from the forward press. As you draw back, you have to bring your hips up and your sliding foot back. The trickiest part of the delivery is the slide. All of your power comes from the body shift. When you push out of the hack, you transfer your body weight from your hips to your sliding foot. A gentle touch is needed in the release. First of all, you need the right curl or spin direction. As you release the stone, it should turn from 10 or 2 o'clock to 12 o'clock. You also need to release carefully so that you release before the hog line and don't mess up your aim. I really like that here there's a bunch of people who are getting started and it's their first year, the second year, their third year, but they all are really passionate about it and I, I really like that. The hardest part of the game, um, probably stamina. It, it's a lot harder on the body than it looks. The hardest part of curling for me is consistency in the shots. Sweeping is one of the most recognizable parts of curling. Sweeping makes the stone curl less and travel farther. Once the stone is released, many things must happen all at once. The sweepers must correctly judge the weight or speed of the stone. While the sweepers judge the weight, the skip must read the ice. Reading the ice is knowing how the ice is going to make the stone move. You have to judge how the rock is going to curl. It's a bit like reading a putting green in golf. When sweeping, you need to first of all listen to your skip for directions. You need to face forward so that you can walk and sweep. Your body weight needs to be right over the rock so that you can sweep as hard as possible. If you touch a stone while sweeping, it's called burning a stone. When a stone is burned, it has to be removed. Now the skips are in charge of the strategic and line calls. There are two main types of shots, the draw and the takeout shot. The draw shot is when you draw or aim for a strategic spot on the ice. A takeout shot is when you hit another stone with your own stone. The hammer is the biggest advantage in a curling end. The hammer is the last stone in an end. This gives you the opportunity to make your final shot. Whenever a point is scored, the hammer changes teams. Stealing a point is when you score a point when the other team has the hammer. I don't fall all the time. I, I just want you to know that when I do fall, I fall with some style, okay? I did a spectacular face plant this evening. I'll pay for it tomorrow. My knees are bruised, my elbows are bruised, but my teeth are intact. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff. The big, I think the big thing is the, just the camaraderie of all the teams. It's, it's competitive, but it's friendly. It's such a unique thing, and it's a lot of fun to do. A couple things. Number one, it's a team sport. It's a true team sport. Like when you get with a good team and you all gel, you can have a lot of fun together. Everybody gets good in their own positions, and everybody has to perform in order to do well. One great tradition of curling is broom stacking. Broom stacking is when both teams go out for a drink after the game. Curling is as much a social game as it is a competitive one. Curling is a game of skill and finesse. It's played by people who love the game and each other. Curling is a sport for people of all ages and abilities. Every game, every end, every shot presents its own challenge and excitement. Next time you hear about curling, don't say, Curling? What's that? <laughs>